Yo, have you ever wondered how you equip and unequip a weapon inside an Unreal Engine? Well, you already know you guys come across the right video. Today on this video, your boy Reloads is going to be showing you guys how to equip and unequip a weapon inside an Unreal Engine. Now, it's super easy to do. So, the first thing you guys want to do, you guys actually want to go over to your character skeleton. Once you guys are inside of your character skeleton, you guys want to go to your skeleton tree. And then, you just want to select any type of bone where you want to have your weapon attached. It could be your head, your leg, your arm, your toe, whatever. You know what I'm saying? For me, I'm actually going to be attaching my weapon to the back of my character which is going to be set up as spine underscore three so once i figure out what bone i want to have my sword attached to the next thing i'm going to do i'm actually going to click on that bone i'm going to go ahead and right click and i'm going to add a new socket i already have the sockets made you guys will see that i have an unsheathed socket which is actually set to my spine underscore three and then i do have a draw socket which is actually going to be set to my right hand this is just going to be the location where my sword is going to go when my character actually draws his weapon so once you guys do that the next thing you guys want to do you guys want to go back to your third person character inside of your third person in character you guys want to add a brand new component it's either going to be a static mesh or a skeleton mesh depending on whatever type of weapon you guys are being having for me my sword is actually a static mesh so you guys will notice once i have the sword attached to my character mesh the next thing i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go over to sockets i'm going to click on this little icon right here go ahead and click that socket that i recently just made that's going to allow my character to have his weapon until it's attached to his back so once i do that the next thing i actually want to do i want to go into my project settings i'm going to go to input and i'm going to create a brand new action mapping called equip sword this action mapping for me is set up to my left and right directional pad with a control loop, but you can have it set up to whatever you want and then once you do that the next thing you guys are going to do is you guys are actually going to create a brand new animation montage so now if you guys don't know how to make an animation montage inside of unreal engine what you guys will actually want to do is you want to go to the location where your animations are located and you just want to hover over the animation and then you're going to right click and then you're going to go up to create and then you're going to select on create animation montage this would then make an animation montage for you once you guys do that the next thing you guys want to do is you guys are actually going to create a brand new animation notify at the location where your character is drawing his weapon so you guys will see right right here i have an animation notify called draw now basically what this animation notify is doing is just allowing me to set up in my animation blueprint and notify the engine when my character wants to draw his weapon and in order to create an animation notify inside of unreal engine what you guys want to do is you guys want to cl right click on the timeline and then you just want to go to add notify and just click on new notify so once you do that that for both your equip weapon for me it's draw and then my unequip is chief weapon so the next thing we're actually going to be doing we're going to be going back to our third person character inside of our third person characters event graph what we want to do is we actually want to call that brand new input action mapping we recently made so we're going to be typing in input action mapping equip sword so you guys will notice that i'm actually have a node right here this is just for optimization purposes but everything inside of this node when you see what i click on it it says input all this code right here you just want to connect it up to the press button on side of the action mapping that you have inside of your game so what we're going to be doing we're actually going to be making a bool variable called is sword equip and then we're going to be creating a branch now from the true node of our branch we're actually going to be dragging it off and we're going to be setting our is sword equip variable to true and then the next thing we want to do we actually want to create a play montage once we sit there and create a play montage what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to go back to false and instead of dragging off false and having our is sword equip we're actually going to be setting our is sword equip bool variable to false and we also want to have another play montage located with inside the false variable so now for the play montage that is connected to is sword equip what we're actually going to be doing we're actually going to be setting this montage to say unequip now in order to do that you just want to click on this little drop down arrow and just type in unequip and then the next thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be going to the false variable where it says is our sword equipped which is set to no we're actually going to be clicking on the montage and we're actually going to be clicking on a little icon right there and we're going to go ahead and hit equip montage so basically what this code does is just plays the animation for if the character has their sword equipped and they want to unequip their sword or if they have their sword not equipped and they want to equip their sword now you guys would know Notice that in my code that it says can attack you guys literally can just ignore these two boolean variables right here you guys don't need this for this code i only have those variables set up inside of my code due to the type of game that i'm making and they just interact within my game a certain way but these variables like i said are just not going to interact with your game the same way that they're going to really interact with my game so you don't even worry about those so the final thing we're actually going to be doing or we're going to be jumping over to our animation blueprint inside of our animation blueprint what we want to do is we actually want to call both those animation notifiers that we recently made earlier which is draw weapon and i have them just sheath weapon so we're going to go into draw so the first thing i want to do when i go into draw you guys will notice that i have a variable right here called player character this variable is just a variable type of the pawn and then i'm actually going to be casting to the third person character and then what i'm going to do i'm going to actually drag off as third person character and i'm going to be getting a reference to my static sword mesh and then
and then for my static server mess what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be calling a function called attach component to a component and you guys would notice that it says socket name right here since we are in the anim notify draw we actually want to sit there and type in the draw socket name now you guys want to make sure that this socket name is exactly the same way that it's set up in your skeleton tree because if it's not you guys will run into errors and then from there you just want to drag off this little line right here as third person character and want to drag from there and we want to get a reference to a stored equip and we're actually going to be sending this variable to true so now if we go back to our event graph and we look at the anim notify chief weapon if i click on this little node right here you guys would notice that it's pretty much the same exact code that i had in draw except the only difference is when it goes to a task component to component the socket name is just changed to chief instead of draw so this is basically saying that our character is actually going to be chief in his sword which is going to be putting it on his back and then we're just going to be setting the variable is stored equipped to full so now that's how you guys equip and unequip your weapon inside of unreal and then if you guys found this tutorial very useful be sure to smash that like button also subscribe to forgoso entertainment for more unreal engine tutorials and don't forget to comment down below in the comment section if you guys are having any issues or running into any problems i'll definitely answer your questions to be sure to help you out and i'm gonna see you guys on my next one